right, so here's cylinder number four. The one with messed up compression. Tons of blow by. Got the piston pulled out. That's the connecting rod bearing journal there. Looks pretty good. And this is what it looks like from the bottom side. Looks really good. Everybody's happy. Not any discoloration. And that's what the main bearing cap cradle looks like. And here's the rod bearing. It's got a couple of spots in it. I'm going to put that sucker right back in there. It'll be just fine. This is the side that goes into the rod here. And it's got a wipe on it. And it looks like it hit at one time or another. It hit. A little bit of an odd shape. Uh, it's probably starting and stopping. It's probably what did that. Other than that though, it looks in fine shape. No discoloration or anything funny going on. I pulled the um, piston out. Let's see, now that's the driver's side. Arrow points the driver's side. There was a question about where the rings were lined up. They weren't that far off. I mean, they were probably like this. And the oil control ring gap was there. So. I don't think it was set up very good as far as that's concerned. Um, I have no way to tell but just by squeezing the ring, you know, the level of tension. But just looking into the gr ring groove, you know, I don't see any really bad things going on there inside the groove or on the ring at all. As far as scoring, excessive carbon buildup, anything like that it, it, it looks really good now this car has 216,000 miles on it the oil control ring does have a little bit of goop in it but it's not that bad really it's this this looks really good here's the scuffing on the side of the piston and that tells me it got hot and it had some trouble so I'm not too worried about it I'm going to replace the pistons. I got a set from Engine Tech for about a hundred bucks or so for the set of rings. So it'll go together nicely and won't be too bad of a deal in the long run. So if you look at the end there, there's no discoloration, no huge problems as far as, hey, there's something busted or cracked concerned. So uh, we're in good shape. It's got some really nice uh, rod bolts. And they're the funny 12 points. You got to use a, like a 10 millimeter 12 point uh, socket. Alright, anyway, y'all have a good day. Okay, well, I wanted to show these pistons I got from Engine Tech. They look pretty good kind of get a good look at this it comes with the new comes with a new wrist pin all of it looks really nice uh, these are the ring set that comes with it it's got some pre-lap rings oil control rings Box says made in USA, so hey, we can't argue with that. And I've used engine tech for lots of things, so lots of engine builds and things. It's it's good enough. It'll work. It'll be just fine. All right, take it easy.